Hello everyone. I am Kuldeep Daryani and I love to help people become better in their personal and professional life. Dear friends, documents control for construction claims. In this video, we shall try to focus on the most important aspect of construction claims, which is documents control. Documents control is essentially keeping records of all the key correspondence exchanged between various stakeholders on a project. It is generally observed that contractors are unable to provide records for substantial claims and the contractor depends upon the records maintained by the government authority which is often incomplete or to the advantage of the government authority. There are various electronic document system software EDMS available to address specific requirements but we need to understand the basic concepts that how the segregation of correspondence can be efficiently managed from the perspective of construction claims. In a highway project, various stakeholders are involved. The key ones are contractor or concessionaire, government authority or department, independent engineer or authority engineer, lenders engineer, etc. Correspondence and documents exchanged between all these stakeholders can be broadly divided into following categories. 1. To and from government authority or department. 2. And from contractor or concessionaire. 2. And from independent engineer, etc. However, in some rare EDMS software, these records can even be electronically searched by the keywords such as EOT, hindrances, payments, etc. But the documents controller plays a vital role in manually segregating all these letters and correspondence by use of important search keywords which are land acquisition or right of way, forest permissions, tree cutting permissions, payments and related milestones, utility shifting, damages, Kala land disbursement records, joint memorandum, extension of time, lenders approval, financial closure and equity records, work programs, change of scope and change in law cases, insurance, bank guarantees, work orders or purchase orders, design and drawings, hindrances or encumbrances records, monthly progress and inspection reports, slow progresses, maintenance and safety, termination and debar notices, PCOD and COD, dispute resolution, conciliation, arbitration, progress and project milestones, notices and compliances. Another key function of the document controller is to coordinate between project sites and head office to merge all the correspondence at a single point of contact. To do all this, a documents controller has to be smart enough to communicate with various offices, possesses basic knowledge of the project, etc. to get all the correspondence in one place, traceable at a single click on any computer systems. Index making. Let us move to summarizing correspondence in a list format. This is again an additional important role played by the documents controller wherein he or she lists the main contents of all letters in an index format in Excel or EDMS software. Hence, the documents controller has to be well versed with the computers for tracing and tracking the documents. This index or listing can be extended to track the responses sent on all letters which is further an advanced task expected from the document controller. Manual handling of correspondence. Proper filing of printed documents play a vital role in maintaining contemporary records or construction claims. The management must support the documents controller in terms of requisite stationery, 
storage place etc in abundance file names the next important aspect is assigning file names to digital scan copies of letters to be saved in computers system and also giving file names when stored physically for manual documentation project name date topic reference number from or incoming to or outgoing etc are the key parameters in file naming a few examples for file names could be first p dash ctd dash 31st december 2021 dash forest wherein p represents punjab project ctd represents contractor to department and in totality this file name represents a letter dated 31st december 2021 regarding forest matter from a contractor to the department another example for file name is n dash ttc dash 14 february 2019 dash milestone wherein n represents nasik project etc represents engineer to contractor and in totality this file name represents a letter dated 14 february 2019 regarding project milestone from the engineer to the contractor important aspects of document controlling all the roles and responsibilities assigned to the document controller ought to be transferred or properly handled or properly handed over to the new joiner while exchanging hands in the organization this is in order to avoid any discrepancies and gaps in the future on following aspects one emails letters document transmittals minutes of meeting circulars government resolutions all are important documents as evidences and when shared keep all stakeholders on the same page second facilitates change of hands among any of the stakeholders for the smooth execution of the project third copy marked in letters is another important aspect fourth procurements are dealt with differently than contractual correspondence being internal correspondence within the construction company drawings and their revisions are also altogether different side of a coin in document control again being internal correspondence within the construction company site records keeping being internal correspondence within the construction company through various key search words like one daily progress reports dpr oblic works diary two quality control test reports weather reports non confirmation reports ncrs materials and bill cancellation data and work orders request for inspection rfis permission from various government departments accounts ledger for financial progress document controller allows for certainty in the most up to date information and readily accessible revisions or outdated copies mainly when it comes for revision in design and drawings It is essential to maintain control of copies and have records as proof of compliance with specifications that portray the effectiveness of the quality assurance system. The document controller should always be well qualified, supervised by contracts manager because the following important facts are dealt on the project. 1 makes copy scan and store documents which works as evidences to adopt extremely effective way to fight against contractual charges third documents management in physical and digital records fourth maintaining records which are an important source of administrative financial evidential and historical information fifth keeping files and images in videos which are another form of evidence sixth searchable pdf files of request for proposals rfp and tender documents 
are the most important contractual documents. In the following videos, we will elaborate more details on other aspects of contract administration. For more details, please visit our website, Daryani's Engineers and Associates Private Limited.